Cotton shorts and t-shirt is the perfect combination to sport during summers. It's light on your toddler's skin and allows them to play freely despite the heat, turning them into happy kids. So if you are looking to stitch some stylish shorts for your toddler, this video is for you. In this video, you will learn to cut the pieces from the shorts template. Sew the crotch area, stitch the inner and side seams, prepare the waistband and insert the elastic and finish the bottom hem. Material list 1 meter soft cotton printed fabric of 45 inches width the template of the sear shorts which you can download from our website www.ushaso.com scale 1 inch broad elastic fancy buttons matching thread water erasable marker scissors and pins step 1 template marking and cutting Take any bright fabric of your choice. Fold the fabric lengthwise as shown so that the non-printed side of the fabric faces you. Now we will place the sorts templates downloaded from www.ushaso.com on the fabric. We start with the back template and pin it in place with some beaded pins. Then we will place the front template and pin this in place as well. Once done, we will trace both these templates on the fabric using a marking pen. After tracing, we will unpin the template and cut along the traced lines. Carefully, cut both the pieces out and lay them side by side. You should have four individual pieces. Step 2. Stitching the crotch area. Let's sew the crotch area now to join the pieces together. Take the fabric to your Usha Janomi Wonder Stitch sewing machine and align the fabric with the edge of the presser foot. Set the stitch selector dial to A and stitch length to 2.5 and begin sewing. After an initial few stitches, do a reverse stitch to secure the stitches in place. Proceed further till you reach the end. Cut the thread and similarly sew the crotch section on the back piece. Remember to do reverse stitches at the start and at the end. Moving on to step 3 which is stitching the side and the inner seams to join the two parts together. Your sewn pieces should look like this. Now place the front piece over the back piece right side facing the right side and let's sew the side and the inner seams pin the inner seams as shown once done proceed sewing the inner seams Remove the pins as you go.
After you are done, cut off the thread and move on to the side seam. Continue sewing till you reach the end. After which, move on to the other side. And stitch. Next on the list is zigzag stitches to avoid fraying of the edges and give the seams a neater finish. Set the pattern selector dial to C and stitch length to 1.5. and sew along the side seams and the inner seams. It might feel like a repetitive process, but it's an extremely crucial step. Preparing the waistline and finishing the bottom hem. Turn the shorts inside out and fold the waistline quarter of an inch. And iron over it. Then fold it again by one and one fourth of an inch and iron again. This will set the fold in place and make it easy to sew. Do this for the entire waistline. The same process will be repeated at the leg hem. Fold in quarter of an inch and iron over the fold. Then fold it again by one and one fourth of an inch and iron again. Do this for both the legs. Post this, take the fabric to the machine and reset the pattern selector dial to A for straight stitches and stitch length to 2.5. Sew over the folds starting with the waistline. Keep a 2 inch gap on either sides of the side seam. Move on to the leg hems and sew over the fold. Good job! As you can see, we are almost done with the shorts. Step 5. Attaching the elastic and finishing the waistline. Now, take an elastic band and measure 10 inches for age group 4 to 9 years and 12 inches 
for age group of 10 to 14 years and cut it. Take a safety pin and attach it to one corner. This will help to secure the opposite end of an elastic. The elastic will be inserted on the back side. This is our back side. Insert the elastic in the 2 inch gap and pass it through the waistband. While doing so, ensure that the end of the unpinned side is over the side seam as shown. This has to be locked in place by sewing over it. Remember to use the reverse stitches here at the start as well as at the end. Cut the thread and adjust the elastic within the waistband and pull it out through the other 2 inch gap. Unpin the safety pin and insert the elastic within the waistband again and adjust it in a way that the end of the elastic comes over the side seam. Now sew over it like before. Once done, close the 2 inch gap by stitching over it. Repeat this process on the other side as well. Step 6. Attaching the buttons For the final step, embellish the shorts however you like. We've used some matching buttons. Visit www.ushaso.com to get a detailed guide on how to attach the buttons and also other embellishing tips. Doesn't it look uber cute and stylish? Your friends and other parents will surely be impressed with your toddler style. Let us know what you think in the comments section below.